In this video tutorials, we are going to use Podium Browser with Podium Walker to model, visualize, and animate photorealistically. This is the first part of a four-part video series. First, we'll open Podium Browser. You can see in this pavilion model that was used in the Podium Browser materials video, the wood, stucco, trusses, glass, and door handles have Podium materials applied on them. Let's open the Podium Browser. First thing we're going to do is add an inside rug in the living room area. This is in the Rug Carpet category, and we'll pick VP Carpet 24 and insert that into the SketchUp model. And then what we'll do is add a table, a dining room table in the dining room category, to place on top of the rug. This is VP Dining Table 11. Once we do that, let's go to Scene 3, and we'll add another living room rug. It's called VP Carpet 17. And then we'll add a living room coffee table. The one I'm looking for is a glass coffee table. This is called coffee table number 37. And we'll insert that on top of the rug. And this would be in the living room area. The next thing we want to do is add a chair. And I've picked one out. It's in the living room chair category. And this is chair number one. And then let's add a Vitra freeform sofa. This is one of the newer ones that are in the sofa series. And we also want to add a storage cabinet to place against the front wall. This is the Eames Storage Cabinets series. And once that is inserted, I'm going to go to the 3D Plants category to place a uh, 3D plant on the cabinet. Next what we want to do is add, start adding light fixtures. We'll need to add a, a couple of floor lamps and we'll start with the Foscarini um, floor lamp and this is in the free section under the floors on the Foscarini and we'll put that in the corner. Next we want to add a ceiling light. This is from the paid section but I, I'll actually look it up in the keyword search. This is the Nagoya ceiling light fixture. And I'm just going to type in Nagoya or Nagoya and grab that and hang it from one of the trusses. Next we want to add two more floor lamps. These are the Mega Terra floor lamps and these will be inserted in the center part of the room as you can see and then under Caligaris we'll look for the a table lamp a very cool looking table lamp and put that on the dining room table now I want to add a couple of paintings on the far wall so I need to go to the decoration category and the ones that I want are the Dylan paintings so I'll just basically type in under decorations I'll type in Dylan and grab two paintings and place them on the far wall, far front wall and I'll scale these up and I'm actually going to put some spotlights in front of them you'll notice when I render these there's two spotlights on the wall. One thing we can do with Podium Walker is use it as a quick way to preview what the issue Podium version 2 rendering will look like. In effect, because Podium Walker is so fast, it can be used as a way to eyeball or preview the final issue Podium version 2 still image. It's not going to have the high quality of Podium, 
but it will show us placement of lights, reflections, bumps, etc. Walker has been evoked, it loaded the SketchUp model, and it quickly ray traced the scene. I move the camera and stop and give Walker a few seconds to ray trace the scene. You can see the spotlights on the wall as well. Although Walker is made for photorealistic animations, it also shows me the podium lighting and reflections and gives me an idea what the podium version 2 image will look like. Now let me render this in issue podium version 2. It will take a few minutes to render, much slower than Walker, but a much higher quality still image as you can see.